they're loud, they're annoying, they can get on your nerves, they don't have manners. What am I talking about? Well, who am I describing? Tourists, of course. Now, we're going to react to something uh, about the USA today, which is Visit America, the don'ts of visiting the USA. Now, we all know it, whether you are from the States, whether you're from a different country, when tourists come, yeah, they do many things wrong. So let's see what you're not supposed to do. Let's go. Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and today we're in Mystic, Connecticut in a beautiful place here in the US. And today what we have for you are the don'ts of visiting the US because anywhere you go in the world there's things you should do, but there's also things you shouldn't do. And this video is oh, going to yeah. just cover the US in general, okay? And our first don't for when you visit the US is don't touch the Americans. <laughs> Look, Americans okay. really like their personal space. It's like they have a bubble around them, and if you get too close to them, they feel very, 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 very uncomfortable. That's strange. I would actually talk. I would actually say that more about Germans and not necessarily uh, Americans. But okay. Okay. So make sure you give them a little distance when you are there. You know, because I know when I go to Italy and Spain and stuff, be like, Mark, how's it going? All this stuff, and my American friends sometimes go, Wow, they're really, really affectionate. Like that's just how it is here. Space is key. The second don't I have for you is don't count on public transportation. <laughs> Look, when we were in China and we oh, were in shit. throughout Europe and South America, we took buses and trains and planes and all kinds of stuff to get all over the place because public transport is really developed. Here in the US, you cannot count on public transport to get you a lot of places. Yes, in wow. big cities like New York and Chicago and stuff like that, you can get around for the public transport and it'll take you where you want to go. Hmm. But a lot of towns, small towns especially, and middle-sized cities, the public transportation... I don't, I don't think I've ever seen a bus whenever I was in the States. That's, that's strange. Networks are not very good. And at night, sometimes it's not very safe. So that is kind of a frustrating thing. So yes, you're going to probably have to rent a car when you come here, okay? So just have a heads up for that. And that kind of leads into the next don't I have for you is that is don't underestimate the size of the U.S. Yeah. The United States, it's, you know, continental U.S. is like continental Europe. It's huge. I mean, would you think of driving from, oh, I want to do, you know, go to from Lisbon to Paris and then go up to Tallinn and then, and then head down to Sofia. No, you're like, that is insanely far. It's the same thing when you come to the U.S. So big. I mean, a lot of travelers that are like, oh, I'm going to fly into New York, grab a car, drive down to Miami to see Miami Beach, mm. and then head over to L.A. I'm like, dude, you got two weeks? You're going to spend the entire time in cars. The distances here are insane. So what I recommend is picking a region. So what I recommend is buy a private plane and then you could. So, oh, we're going to stay here in New England and see New England. Or we're going to go in the southeast, you know, go to Atlanta and Savannah and Charleston, things like that, or or visit the west coast. Ooh, you do that. Wonderful fish. You get a better idea of the culture there and things like that. But also, it's just the logistics things because it's so far between the places. And to go along with that, for Americans, a three to four hour drive, that's a day trip. Like my parents live three hours away. I will literally get up, go drive, have lunch with my mom, and then drive back home just for lunch. Six hours in the car. No big deal. It's about yeah. seven hours we start to think, hmm, that kind of is a long drive. And we drive the entire way through. Okay, this isn't like, oh, I must stop every two hours and have a 15 minute break. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. We drive all the way through, okay? Now, my next don't for you when you come here is don't think that the sticker price is the end price. Well, it's taxes. Look, in the U.S. Okay. we have sales tax. I know other countries, they have VAT, value-added taxes. They're already put into the price of products. So when you see, oh, it's $1 or 1 euro, oh, I only pay 1 euro. In the U.S., it is not like that. We have sales tax, so a certain percentage. So does that mean when you go to the dollar store and you see all these prices for a dollar, you're not actually paying one dollar? It's added on to that product. And the thing is, I cannot tell you what the sales tax will be where you're going to travel because it's different everywhere. Mm. Cities, states, counties, different products have different sales taxes. And some products don't have sales taxes. Some cities don't have sales taxes. Some have 10% sales tax. It can be different anywhere you go. So if you're gonna go get your dollar menu item at a McDonald's or a Culver's or a wherever, it's not gonna be a buck. Mm. Where I live, <laughs> there's two cities right by where I live. One, it's gonna be a dollar eight. The other one, it's gonna be a dollar nine. So be ready for that. And it's not just the sales tax. Also, there could be the tipping on top. And that leads us into the fifth don't, and that is don't forget to tip. Look, in the US, you tip 15 to 20% at a city. Jeez, boy, that's kind of a big meal. 
down restaurant, okay? Now, McDonald's, stuff like that, no, you don't tip at a fast food place, but if it's a sit down restaurant where they bring you your food and stuff like that, you will tip them 15 to 20%. Wow. If you are in a group of six people or more, sometimes they automatically put the gratuity on there, which sometimes can be 18% or something like that. Look, when you come to the US, there's a reason why the food is like so affordable. You're like, wow, it's cheap to go out and eat in the US. It's because there's kind of this- it's just, if you do not tip at a restaurant, do not go back to that restaurant because they will remember that you didn't tip. Yeah, sure. Understanding that the service fees and pain- In Germany, you can also tip if you want, but it's not mandatory. For the workers and the waitresses and stuff like that, that goes on to you, the person eating there with the tips. So the food and stuff can be cheaper when you go out to eat. And I know a lot of people say, I don't believe in tipping and this tipping isn't the right thing. They should pay their people more. Well, if, if, if you want to pay more for your food, they can do that but they don't, okay? So tipping is something we do do here in the US, so do tip that 15 to 20%. Oh, also, if you're at a bar and you're buying drinks, you're gonna wanna tip a couple dollars here and there, otherwise the bartender might not be too quick to come back and get you your next drink. So falling off of those tips, what you need to realize is our next don't is, don't be freaked out by the over-the-top service and free stuff you sometimes get in the US. Water. Look, because of tipping and commissions and stuff like that, yes, there is a lot of over-the-top service here. But the thing is, in the US, the people actually are pretty nice and they want to help people. True that. And sometimes for some travelers, if they come from countries where people wow. don't get a lot of service sometimes, it can be a bit much. Yeah, fucking Germany. You're going to, it's literally the worst customer service ever. So don't freak out about it. Also with that is don't be freaked out with some of the free stuff you get when you go to restaurants. Look, if you go to a restaurant and they bring you bread and water or chips and salsa and all those really good things, that's included in your meal. Okay, so if you're gonna be buying something, they're gonna give you some free stuff. It might be some bread, it might be a salad, it might be a, you know, water, it might be something like that. So don't be like shocked when like, wait, I, did, I didn't order this bread, I didn't order this salad. Oh no, that comes with your meal, okay? Mm, now okay. the thing is though, you can't just go in and get chips and salsa and walk out, well, of all course. right? You actually have to order some food when you go there. Now my next don't for you is don't smoke cigarettes in the US. If you're smoking cigarettes in the US, people will look at you like you're trying to kill their baby. Cigarettes is like totally verboten. Really? Like people really frown upon it. Did he? Oh my God, he just, he just said verboten. Verboten is forbidden in German. Which is funny because when they talk about marijuana and stuff like that, people don't seem to care as much. But cigarettes, oh, you're trying to kill my baby with that cigarette two blocks away. So if you do smoke, make sure you try to find a place where you can smoke because okay. a lot of restaurants or pretty much all restaurants hotels, stuff like that have smoke free. It's smoke free. So you got to go like 15 to 20 feet away from doing things. So that can be something. So I've come here outside my favorite liquor store to give you the next don't. And that is don't try to buy alcohol unless you're 21 or cigarettes unless you're 18 or over in the US. They will not sell them to you. And the thing is, don't forget your ID. Mm. Because if you look like you're 40 or under, they may ask you for that. And don't get mad at them because if they don't ask, they could get in trouble and get fined. So don't be surprised because we've had friends that have come here, tried to buy alcohol and they're like, sorry, you, you're, you don't look old enough. Oh, I don't have my ID, too bad. And the thing is, it's not just the person buying, they might ask in Germany, they also do the same thing, but it's not 18 and 21. You can, I mean, cigarettes are 18, and then uh, if you want to buy alcohol, it's beer, you know, not hard liquor. It's 16, and hard liquor is 18. Ask anybody with you, so make sure everybody has their ID if they want to buy liquor, or they want to buy, well, they want to buy alcohol, or if they want to buy cigarettes. So just FYI on that one. Oh, that's also another don't I have for you is don't bother with a metric system when you come here. We don't use, <sighs> it, or sorry, we don't use meters. We don't use kilometers. We don't use liters. It is inches, feet, miles, gallons, uh, <laughs> pounds, things like that. And I'll put a conversion chart here to show you. But honestly, you may say, hey, how far is it to this next town? And they'll tell you, oh, it's like 60 miles. You're like, what's that? Just know 60 miles, eh, it's about 100 kilometers, okay? So just do that because the people here won't get it. I mean, I have people, when I'll tell them, oh, it's 100 meters away, they're like 100 meters. It's like 100 yards. Oh, okay. So make sure you it's do not. know your imperial system, okay? Because metric, we don't do that so much here. Yeah, as much as I love the States, that fucking sucks. Change that. So our next don't is when you do come to the US, there's a couple things you don't talk about, okay? One is gun control, and two is politics, because no matter where you are, you will get people on either side of the spectrum, and they will have an argument with you, so it's best just to lay off those topics, talk about the weather. Oh, wouldn't it be nicer if it was sunny today, and we could go sailing? Yes, that would be much better than discussing gun control or politics. Just putting that one out there for mm. you right now. 
Now my next note for you is don't assume that all the US and all the Americans are the same. Because I know a lot of people say, oh, you're a typical American. What's well, like saying you're a typical European? Look, the US has all kinds of different cultures, all kinds of different people, all kinds of different topography and scenery and stuff like that. And when you come here, don't assume it's all the same. You will see regional differences in cuisines and how people treat each other um, and how everything looks, all kinds of stuff. So don't just think there's just one kind of American. They're all fat, slobby guys with ponytails. No, there's actually a lot of skinny people in America too, not just fat guys mm, like me. I don't know about my that. My buddy Jeff. <laughs> I don't know about that. There are those. So don't assume it's all the same, all right? So do go out and explore. And that's why I always say is if you're going to come to the U.S., go and explore different regions because you'll get a really different feel. Because going to the southeast and seeing the, the mm. plantation homes and, and going to see the, the southern towns down there versus going to the northwest and, and Seattle and Portland or going to San Francisco or going to the Midwest with Chicago and Milwaukee, you're going to have a very different feel, which is really a cool thing to do. And you start to understand is, wow, the U.S. does have a lot of different cultures within and a lot of different feelings when you go around here. And following on with that, I guess I would say another don't is don't assume there's no culture in the U.S. because there are a lot of cultural centers out there. If you go down to New Orleans, you see a very rich culture there. You go to New York or Boston, here in New England, you have a very distinct culture. Oh, in the Midwest shoots. with Chicago, Milwaukee, you go to the West wow. Coast. I mean, there's a lot of different culture here, historic culture with the Native Americans or That's cool. more recent culture here. I mean, you have all that here. Oh, come you can on, really guys. take in. It's saying there's no culture in the U.S. It's not really true because there are all these different. Wait, what is that? Does anyone know what the fuck? Cultural and saying there's no culture in the U. Eh, what is that? Wes, it's not really true because there are all these different cultural centers with great museums like the Art Institute of Chicago or the Met in New York, the Getty in LA. There's all kinds of stuff you can see and do when you are here for a cultural trip. It's not just seeing oh, nice. beautiful landscapes and, and seascapes like we are here in Connecticut. There's a lot more to it than that. Now my next don't for you is one that I kind of get a lot of questions about. We actually have a video on this and then that is don't think that how are you or how's it going is actually a question. A German Look, when nightmare. When you say how's it going, how, you, how are you, these kind of things yeah, in just the like US, hello. it's not a question, it's a statement. It's like saying hi. Okay, just take it as a hi. Because a lot of people say, so everyone asks me how I'm doing. When I try to tell them what I'm, how I'm feeling, they're like, well, I was just saying how are you. Here, how are you is just hi. Think of it that way. It's like in France. Ça va? Ça va? How, is it, how's it going? How's it going? We're good to go. In Portuguese? It's not ça va, it's ça va. <laughs> tudo bem? Everything good? You answer back. Tudo bem? Everything good. It's just, how are you? How are you? You move on, okay? So don't think it's an actual question, all right? Sure. Now, another don't I have for you is don't expect a lot at the fancy hotels. You know, you're thinking, oh, mm -hmm. I'm going to pay more money for this hotel. I'm probably going to get nicer stuff, like a nicer breakfast, better Wi-Fi. Oh, no, 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 no. For some reason in the U.S., it seems like the nicer the hotel, the more you have to pay for the things you think would be free, mm. like Wi-Fi and breakfast. Mm. So don't feel like you have to stay at the fancy hotels, because honestly, if you're going to be going out and exploring, you just need a couple beds, right? So stay at the hotels in the U.S., and the cheaper ones will give you free Wi-Fi, free breakfast, all these kind of things, which is really nice, so don't expect that from the fancy mm. hotels. Okay. Another don't I have for you is... Don't skip out on the local food. Look, we're here in oh, New England. Yeah. We're in Connecticut. We've been having lobster and clams and oh my God, New England clam chowder. Oh, my tummy is just like more, more. It's fantastic. When I'm in the South, man, Southern fried chicken, mac and cheese, barbecue. Oh my God. Mm. The food. See, I've seen this many, many times, but I just don't know what to think of it. In the different regions in the U.S. are great. So don't well, just get go to it, chain buddy. restaurants. Nice. When you go to your hotel, <laughs> ask them, hey, what's some local restaurants Good around shit. here? What's some locally owned and operated restaurants so you can go there and check out those places because they really give you a great experience. And I find a lot of times those ones actually have better service than the chain restaurants because it's a mom and pop place where the owner is the ones helping you out. And that is really kind of a cool thing. Now, my next don't for you is don't get sick. Look. <laughs> Healthcare in the US is insanely expensive. And just because you come from another country doesn't mean they're not gonna find you for the bill, all right? So if you're gonna be coming here, make sure you get travel insurance or trip insurance so in case you do get sick or you do break an ankle or you do break an arm or something happens to you, your insurance will cover it. Now you might have to pay it first and your insurance pays you back, but at least you'll get something back because health healthcare here in the US is insanely expensive, okay? So make sure you're prepared for that. And I guess my last don't I'm gonna have for you is one that people okay. actually got mad at me for when I lived in other countries what? when I told them the US has 50 states. And they said, no, the US has 52 states. 
Look, no. don't think the U.S. has 52 states. The U.S. has 50 states, okay? Just just yeah. a heads up on that one. I'm sure that people are going to be commenting down below that when I was... The flag changed a lot over the time, that's for sure. In school, they told me 52. No. Nope. There's 48 on the mainland, and then Alaska and Hawaii are exactly. 49 and 50, all right? So, those are our don'ts for visiting the U.S. What are some of the don'ts you have for the U.S.? Because I know there's more out there. I just want to get some of these out there to help out travelers heading to the U.S. One don't is definitely if you're German, don't visit Taco Bell because they're not going to understand you. Or at least they pretend they will pretend like they don't understand you. Just so we can get things going. Anyway, if you like videos like this, we have stuff on what the don'ts of going to Russia, the don'ts of going to Germany, the don'ts of you know going to Brazil and things like that. And we really like helping travelers with honest travel travel advice. So if you like this video, do click that subscribe button. It means a lot to us and we put new travel videos out every Wednesday and Saturday to help great travelers just like you. So all right, very nice video. Thank you for recommending that. I'm not 100% sure who recommended it, but uh, you out there if you're watching. Um, well, I knew I knew some of them. I knew the tipping, you know, and the food sizes and all of that, right? But um, I mean, I the first one they don't like. They Americans want their space. Honestly, I thought it was in reverse. I mean, I thought it was the other way around that they actually liked it. Um, that's why they're so, I mean, so open about things. Uh, well, anyway, I enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for recommending that again. If you have any other recommendations on what I should react to next, definitely, definitely let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, I'll get back to you. And that, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much.